Welcome to Digital Asset News to get top stories in cryptocurrency digital assets and break them down to bite-sized pieces. So today we're going to talk about what I call the trifecta of FUD. And I've been getting nothing but uh, emails and uh, tweets and different DMs about this issue or these issues that are coming about all in one day. And it could be a pretty big reason why, why we've seen like a 10, a 10% drop in just Bitcoin alone. So we're going to go over all three of these things and I'm going to tell you why they're ridiculous. And then we're going to get to a fourth thing that really not too many people are talking about, which I think is the scariest thing out of all of them. So just stay to the end. So first up, we're going to talk about Bitcoin falls 11% after report suggests a critical flaw in the crypto called double spend may have occurred. And uh, when we really dig into this article and talk about what's going on. It's just is a uh, basic ridiculousness. And in my personal opinion, I think this is just FUD throwing around so people can buy up some cheap Bitcoin, some cheap cryptocurrency, and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. On top of that, Let's talk about Craig Wright, who has been resurrected. Guy was gone for quite some time, didn't hear anything about him. And all of a sudden he wants to come back and say, hey, the uh, Satoshi Nakamoto white paper for Bitcoin, that's all me, which he had we had talked about that you know, months and months ago. But now he's going about and enforcing it. We're gonna talk about why that is, rid is ridiculous and what does even matter. And then finally, we're gonna take a look at Janet Yellen, the nominee for uh, Treasury and what she said recently about cryptocurrency, which everybody is flipping out about. But if we go into the nuance pieces, we're gonna take a look at what she really said drilling down. So we'll go over all these three things, plus a bonus scary thing that's going on. And we'll take a look at that in just a second, but let's quickly go over the market. However, excuse me, before we do that, I want to say thanks to my sponsors over there at CryptoTrader.tax. CryptoTrader.tax, if you don't know, it's a very easy way to uh, plug in via API to any different exchange you've ever used uh, to realize potential losses and gains. Now, I use this myself. This is the second year I've actually used it. I used it last year. The time that I actually set it up, got everything in there, figured out what I was doing, and sent it out to my account, 30 minutes. Got everything done, saved a lot of time, saved a lot of money, and uh, that is why I'm happy that they are one of my sponsors. So right now, if you go to this site, which I will link in the description below, you can put your first name, last name, well, actually first name and email, and you can enter to win for an unlimited use of cryptocurrency tax report or an unlimited uh, tax report. So I will link that at the very end. Also, uh, just so you know, uh, the IRS really wants to start to enforce everything. And I think with all the money printing that is going around, they probably want to dig into your money, which we'll talk about in a bit. So let's take a look at what is going on with that. And here we go. Oh, one more thing. Uh, for every one of my videos in the description, you can find that link for the win the free tax report right here. Just click on that. There's also a coupon code 20% off for all Dan users. And then there's also an explainer video, which I made for CryptoTrader.tax. You can click on that right there. All right, so let's get into today's uh, top story as soon as we take a look at the market real quick. So we're looking at Bitcoin. Uh, was at 41, now it's at 31. ETH, US, not uh, US ETH, no one cares. Dots a little bit up, amazingly, but everything's down. Down, 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 down. Everything's a big red day. So why is that? Well, let's start off with this. So this is from BitMEX. BitMEX, if you don't remember, uh, they were hauled into court by the U.S. government because they were doing some odd things, we will say, as far as signing up people and allowing them leverage trading and a lot of different shenanigans. And it just got shut down. So uh, Arthur Hayes is, uh, I don't know what happened to that guy. And uh, we are just, you know, sitting out here in the wind. And here comes a report from BitMEX saying, hey, there's a double spend. What is double spend, first of all? Let me explain it. That was the whole thing with cryptocurrency, especially with Bitcoin. Satoshi Nakamoto says, well, before even Bitcoin was around, there was other digital type of cash, digicash and stuff like that. And what they couldn't really solve was how do you make people not spend doubly or double spend when you're actually trying to purchase things? So the way that they did that is that there wouldn't be just one centralized ledger. They would have a decentralized ledger so no one could fool the system. And now with Bitcoin having 10,000 plus nodes all throughout the globe, and that's what the whole thing is with the blockchain, is that when somebody spends something, or actually transfers their cryptocurrency. It goes to all the different nodes and all the different blockchains, and it is cryptographically put into that blockchain for Bitcoin, for all records and everyone to see, and you cannot change it. So there is no double spend. There has been no double spend uh, since the inception of Bitcoin. I think maybe there was, now I, 
th th there was nothing uh, beforehand. There was some type of uh, instance uh, that happened uh, with uh, when they were doing testing or something, but in the very beginning, it doesn't matter. So for over a decade, no double spend, no issues, right? Now all of a sudden, BitMEX comes out and says, hey, we just had a double spend. So what the heck is going on? So real quick, let's scroll through this whole article because it's kind of boring. But it says here, BitMEX research tweeted that it appears as if a small double spend amount of 0 .000620 or $21 was detected. BitMEX later said it appeared the double spend was actually an RBF transaction, which is when an unconfirmed Bitcoin transaction is replaced with a new transfer paying a higher fee. It's not really a double spend, but there is an instance with higher fees. But BitMEX's fork monitor said that no RBF fee bumps have been detected. Have been detected. So they sent out a tweet and they say, look, there's a problem with uh, what's going on with Bitcoin. There's been a double spend. Then later on, they say, oh, you know what? It was an RBF. And then the monitors come out and says, you know what? Uh, there was no RBF detected. So you have to wonder, you have to ask yourself, well, what's going on here? Why does this happen right now? Well, it's just one of the trifecta of FUD because uh, for over a decade, this hasn't been an issue. But now when you start to hear about, oh, there's been a double spend, that shakes the confidence of especially newer people and even people who have been in the game for quite some time, like, oh, well, maybe it doesn't work. Maybe something's going on. But that's not the case. That's not the case, and this is what uh, we talk about here. So we can go for forward. BitMEX had another tweet, a transaction in the losing chain sent blah, blah, blah to the address, blah, 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 and a transaction in the winning chain which spent the same inputs only sent to this address. If a double spend did in fact occur, sounds like it didn't, it could be a fatal blow to the popular cryptocurrency, which it won't. So again, if you start hearing about double spends and, and you know it's, it's, it's faulty for the blockchain, this is not the case. This is what is going on. It's just a very odd thing that uh, BitMEX goes through all these different, th different problems. Then all of a sudden they, they come to the report, oh, there's a double spend. And then all of a sudden people freak out and the price goes way lower. You think that a lot of people aren't accumulating? I will just tell you this, I bought some, and it was a pretty good day for me as far as dollar cost average. All right, let me know what you think in the comments section, and let's move on to our next piece.